Um, my name is Ira. A long time ago, um, I made a video about trans men and lesbians. And it was quite controversial because I think because a lot of people misunderstood what I was saying. Because um, basically everybody was like, well, all the people who were upset by it were upset because they don't want to be fetishized. Naturally. <laughs> um, and so a lot, a lot of people thought that I was justifying the fetishization of transgender people, especially trans guys. And, I, and I'm not. Um, I've been thinking about making a video about this for a while. Um, but I just decided to do it today because one of my friends on Facebook said that they, you know, that they want someone to date and they said that they will only date trans guys and cisgender women. Which is really upsetting because basically in order to justify that logic, one has to use really cis sexist um, forms of thinking, like like trans guys are inherently feminine because of our gender designation at birth, or trans women are inherently masculine for the same reasoning, or that trans guys are the quote, best of both worlds, or whatever. In my last video, I was basically saying that if a lesbian just so happens to end up liking a trans guy, it's not a big deal. Some, like, shit happens. Um, sometimes lesbians fall for guys, it's not a big, like, the world's not gonna explode, and sometimes gay guys fall for girls, like, shit happens. <laughs> um, and if it's one of those, just, those, like, circumstantial things, like, go with it. Don't, don't let, like, gender freak you out, um, if you sincerely like the person. It's not that big of a deal. Um, that being said, if, like, the person's, like, I will only date trans guys because to me all trans guys have vaginas or whatever. That's 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 com that's a completely different situation. Uh, um, so yes, I I mean I'm gonna stand by what I said last time in that trans men and lesbians can totally date each other. It's not a big deal. Um, but gay guys and women can date each other if they want, and and trans guys can date cis dudes, and I don't. Like, basically my point was is people can date whoever the fuck they want. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm going to stand by that point. <laughs> um, but that being said, to my lovely female identified allies of the, to the trans community, and this is mostly to the ones that identify as queer or lesbians, refusing to date trans women but being okay with dating trans men and being okay with dating cisgender women is super, super cis sexist. Um, and I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking like, well, it's just my preference, so you can't tell me what to like or what I don't like. No, I can't tell you what to like or what to not like, but I can implore you to question why you like those things in the first place. Um, basically, what happens when you say I won't date cisgender men or trans women, but I will date transgender men and cis women, you're basically lumping people into their gender designation markers and segregating people over something that they, like, by something that they have no control over, right? Um, so instead of being like, I like people with these features, you're saying, I like people who have these things on their birth certificate, or at one point in time had these things on their birth certificate. And that seems really weird to me. Like, does that make sense? <laughs> that how weird that is. I only like people whose names start with the letter A. <laughs> like, you, <laughs> like what? <laughs> um, I don't know. Just I, I can't grasp why, why someone would designate like their sense of attraction that way. I only like people who have this font on their ID. You know what I mean? <laughs> maybe okay. Maybe I'm mocking you a little too much. Um. But basically what you're saying is that that trans men and that cisgender women are alike in in whatever form. And sometimes they might be. On individual levels, they may very well be. But saying that they are entirely just completely undermines transgender existence, right? And so like and likewise saying that trans women or saying that you won't date trans women and cisgender men basically lumps them into the same category as well, which is super fucked up. 
Um, and basically it goes through the process of undermining someone's identity, which is why so many trans guys don't date lesbians, because they don't want their identity undermined, which is, like, which is understandable. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I, I don't think it's inherently bad or wrong to not date lesbians if that, like, triggers your dysphoria. I just don't think that if you like someone and someone likes you, you should be like, oh, no, their gender identity is something I'm politically against. Um, I just don't... I just don't think you should do that. If you if you sincerely like them, like if you like each other, you're a good match. Who cares? Like just go for it. Um, be happy, have fun. But I hope I'm making sense. I'm a little um, scatterbrained at the moment. But basically, just question. I'm like seriously, just question why you're into something, and then being. And then refusing to do so is, like, super fucked up, too. Because, like, I'll admit, I used to be trans misogynistic in regard to, like, my sexual attraction. I said that I didn't want to date trans women. And then I said, and my justifications were basically because I, you know, I didn't want to date someone with, pen with a penis or whatever. Well, not all trans women have penises, and some trans men do. And... And then I said, well, you know, well, I just don't like masculine people. And, well, there's a lot of really masculine cisgender women and transgender men out there. And there's a lot of super, super femmy, super cute trans women out there. Like, it doesn't... Any, any form of logic you use to justify only dating trans men and not dating trans women and dating cisgender women and not dating cisgender men any form of logic you use to, like, set up that form of thought is going to be so sexist because you have to. I can't think of a single way where you would not have to use super stereotypical arguments that are anti-trans in order to justify them. The concept that transgender women are masculine or that transgender men are feminine or that either of us are the best of both worlds or whatever. Um, I... And maybe, like, maybe if you think I'm wrong, just let me know, but give me, I ask you to, like, please give me an argument that isn't super fucking so sexist in the process. And then, and then we'll see. If you can, if you can give me an argument that's not based entirely on stereotypes, then, then yeah, then I'll, then I'll think about the way that I think. But if you can't, then please think about the way that you think. Um... But yeah, <laughs> I will talk to you all later. Okay, bye.